Hi guys, it's Janet Wakeland with RemarkablyCreated.com here with another fun one take wonder video. Today we're going to look at making this beautiful holiday wreath that was created with the Big Shot gift bow die. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how we put this whole thing together. First what you're going to want to start with is you're going to want to start with this small flat styrofoam wreath and the one that I found at the craft store is 5 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths inches. So again it's pretty tiny and it's flat, it's not rounded like a traditional wreath. So we're going to start with that. And then you're going to need your Big Shot gift bow die. It does cut the pieces that you see here. I laid the red polka dotted paper on it so that you could see the lines on it a little bit better. And the way that the bow traditionally gets assembled is that you would take this larger piece here, a little adhesive in the center. You would bring your two tabs and make sure that they're secure and then you can use the little belly band that's part of it to hold it all together and then it has the little tails here that actually look like little mermaid flippers and you can lay those off to the side like that you can also bring them down for tails and then you can also shorten one up and kind of double it up and you can see that there's also a single loop that is part of the die and you can use this to plump it up a little bit to make a fuller bow, adding a couple on either side, just like that. You can also then start to go the whole way around with your pieces, making a really full die. So there's lots of possibilities with that, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to focus on using just this single loop, and I went ahead and I cut it in our gold shimmer paper, and I took three full sheets of our 12 by 12 gold shimmer paper, it is sold two sheets to a pack, and I went ahead and I cut them into two by four inch pieces and I used every single piece on my project. And so what we did is we worked with straight pins. You could also use hot glue, but I had a whole bunch of straight pins around. And for this project, you definitely might want a thimble. It can be a little tough pressing through all of the layers of this gold shimmer paper. Now I do have a couple already done, so we're gonna go ahead and cheat just a little bit. And we're gonna just angle that so it doesn't come out the back. A little tip for you when you are putting the straight pins in, if you decide to go the straight pin route, and let's just eyeball that over, is you want to start by going straight down and then angling it, because you don't want it to come out the back, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm spacing it just about the width of what one of these would be, just like so. And you would do that kind of spacing the whole way around the outside. Let's go ahead and let's just add one more here just like that. Now for your next row what you're going to do is you're going to come right in here to this open spot and you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to fill it in in that open spot and I actually put mine, let's move that down just a little bit, down just a little bit in the open spot. We'll put the next one on and then the next round next time you're going to go, let's just take this pin right back out for trying to be a little bit ready. I was expecting them to pop back out again. Let's angle that. And then you're just going to come oops we'll deal with it. So you just want to come in like that and again you would do that same thing the whole way around and you can start to see where it's going to get really full looking for you. Let's go ahead and let's bring our finished one back in for just a second and I'm going to take the center piece out so that you can see what it looks like on the inside. Because when you, I don't want you to get to the end of yours and go, but wait a minute, now what do I do with it? You could have spray painted it gold before you got started if you wanted to, if you're worried about seeing any of the styrofoam between it. You could also wrap it with ribbon if you wanted to. Um, I think I got mine pretty close together. There's just those few little pieces that you're going to be able to hide when you center this piece in. And this piece is going to get, I'm going to take hot glue right here, just in a little bit on the inside edge, and I'm going to lay that in and press it into the hot glue. The way that this centerpiece was done is I die cut a large scallop with our circle framelits. I went ahead and embossed the poinsettia on white cardstock and I embossed it three times with gold. I went ahead and embossed the greetings on cherry cobbler and then cut them into banner shape. And then for the embellishment here, our antique brad, what I did, a clothespin is an absolute must as far as a tool in a craft room. There are so many things that you do with clothespins. I use them all the time. Is you just want to make sure you get a hold of that. Um, brad, the legs on the brad, and you want to take your Versamark pad 
and you want to mush this or smush this into the Versamark coating it really good because there's some nooks and crannies and some design work on that brad so we want to make sure that we get the Versamark down deep inside of that just like so and then we're going to go ahead and take our cherry cobbler embossing powder and we'll dip that into it and then we're just going to knock off all of the extra and then we'll heat that with our heat tool you want to be really careful after you're done embossing it. It is metal, so it will retain some of the heat, and it will be very hot to the touch. So you want to wait a few seconds and give it a chance to cool before you start to go ahead and finish off your project. And then let me just end by showing you the actual stamps that we used in this project. We used our French script background with crumb cake to go ahead and add script to our scallop circle. We used our Joy to the World, and we used Christmas Wishes and Seasons Greetings so that there were two different greetings on the tails of our um, project and then there's the poinsettia stamp from joyful Christmas so there you go nice and easy project using the gift bow die for the big shot so have fun creating your own holiday wreath take care thanks for watching God bless